Okay, now, I want us to think about this a bit more visually because I've got, I've got a number now, but I want to think about what this means. Underneath here, could you draw for me, please, uh, a nice little Cartesian plane, but we only need the first quadrant, just need the first quadrant because we're dealing with positive things here. I'm not interested in negative speed, um, at least not yet anyway. So let's just get a little Cartesian plane here. Uh, this will do, this will do. Uh, now, you can see I don't have the entire plane here, but I've got enough of it that I, I need. Now, we would normally call these x and y, but I'm interested in these quantities here, right? Speed is made up of these two quantities. What are they again? Dependent yeah, dependent and independent. The dependent one, uh, we would normally call this vertical axis, which I guess makes most sense to be distance. So I'm going to call this the distance axis. We know the distance, so that's independent. Uh, well, it, it, I, it, that depends. That depends on the way. I mean, I've changed. I've just changed this around, right? So I want to think about it as uh, distance per time, right? So in this case, in the original case, it's like, yeah, we know it's fixed, um, and the time is what changes. But I've now switched it around the other way. Okay. So I've got a distance axis going up, and I've got a time axis going horizontally. Now. Just for this particular race, right? We know that the distance he hit was 100 meters. And the time it took to get there was 9.69 seconds. Okay. Now, another color here. We know they all start at the beginning, uh, at the blocks there. And then after 9.69 seconds have elapsed, so time is gone from left to right. And uh, he ends up at this 100 meter spot. Okay. Now, just look with me for a second after you've got that down at what I'm about to draw because I want to come back to the video that you watched and pose you a question about this, right? We know he starts time zero at the blocks and then he ends after 9.69 seconds up here at 100 meters, right? So it's tempting to draw something like this. Just a straight line from the beginning to the end. But can anyone tell me why this is not an accurate representation of what actually happened? There's at least two reasons. Number one, what do you want to say? Okay, number one. So he's accelerating, right? They, he doesn't start out at the blocks and just is instantly going at the speed that he's going the whole time, right? In fact, if you pay it, we, we saw it like five times, right? At the beginning, Usain Bolt's like, he's just in the middle of the pack. He's not at the front at all. So this takes some time to actually pick up, right? That's at the beginning. And then, of course, there's a second thing that he does. And the commentators made a big deal about it. Anyone else notice? Yeah, Rassin. Yeah, you just kind of let it go. And it's, it's yeah, at the end, he actually, what he does is he's running. And I think with about 20 minutes to go, he looks, he looks around to see where the competition is. And he realizes he can't see them. So he's just like, oh, I've won. He, he literally puts his arms down, beats his chest, and he just sort of slows down. Right? And that's why the commentators are all like, what time would he have run if he actually went all the way? Well, we actually, with the benefit of time, we now know what time he would have run if he didn't you know, pull any punches. So we've got problems here with this graph. Number one, at the start, this is not what's happening. right? It's not instantly going at that speed. And at the end, it's the same problem. right? So I'm going to draw a new Cartesian plane, but you don't need to. You've got yours there. Can you draw for me? It doesn't have to be perfect. Draw for me a better graph than this one. I'm going to draw one underneath. Draw for me one you feel is more accurate. It's still going to have the same beginning and the same end, but can we get a more accurate shape here? So um, I'm going to do my best. Okay, It's not going to be perfect, but the first thing I notice is, um, as Zaki pointed out, he starts off really slow, but not just he starts off slow. Everyone starts at a speed of zero. No one's going anywhere, right? So they're kind of not going anywhere, right? Like the distance has not changed at all in that first instant after the gun goes off, right? But then of course he picks up, right? He gets faster and faster. This is when that lead sort of takes over, okay? And then at some point, I mean, not super accurate, he, he sort of slows down. And he's like, oh, okay. Well, I'm just going to use your imagination, okay? Uh, it doesn't keep on going at the same rate, nor does it get faster. He looks around and he just slows down at the end. Um, you'll notice, by the way, I haven't drawn this flat across the way I had this flat down here. Why do you think I didn't make it flat at the end? Do you remember what he did in the race? Yeah, he's still running, right? And that's why the commentator's like, the 100 meters is still, it's just a straight line, but he's, he's gone all the way around the curve because he doesn't stop at an instant. That would probably, that's, that'd be like you say about hitting a brick wall, which would, that'd be bad for Usain Bolt. Okay. So this is better, right? Now, when we talk about speed, remember we said it's a distance 
over a time. Have a look at this up here, right? Where is the distance on here? Um, on this, on your graph, right? I'm going to do this twice, actually. Um, can you mark out this whole distance here, right? Now, this distance here on our graph is vertical. So you could call this the rise. Yeah, that's how far he's gone vertically on the graph. And then we divide it by time, which is over here on the horizontal axis. So we wouldn't call this rise, we would call it run. Thank you very much. So when we think of speed as distance over time, what you're really calculating here, this 37.15 number, right? What it really represents is the rise over run. What is this called? This is called the gradient. gradient. Thank you very much. So I'm actually going to put this, maybe you want to put it at the front as well. Where we wrote speed, what we were really calculating was gradient. But we were calculating it over the entire journey, the entire 9.69. Um, you can clearly see in the middle of all of our graphs is the point where he's going fastest, right? He's not doing it for the whole time. But if you wanted to draw on there, uh, yep, I've got my black here. See how I've got like one big triangle here, one big right angle triangle, like so? If we drew like a smaller one, in here, in this fastest point, I want you to look at your graph and I want you to pick the portion of it, it's got to be somewhere in the middle, that is the steepest, right? The part that's the steepest. That would represent where he's going fastest. Does that make sense? It's the most change in vertical, the most rise over the smallest change in time, which is run, okay? Biggest rise, smallest run. So just obviously pick it on your graph. I think mine's around here. So you can draw yourself in, um, a nice little right angle triangle there. And just like on mine, can you represent, you've got the rise here, and then you've got the run. Okay. Now, let's see here. Where's my thing going? Here we go. Sorry, Mrs. Lee, can we get the light again, please? Stay. Okay. Now. Here's what I'm trying to show you here, right? This was our bogus model for Usain Bolt's run. We quickly, because we, well, you've only watched it like once, but you immediately dismiss it. You're like, that's, that's not what's happening, right? A better model looks more like this, right? Uh, it's not perfect. Um, I, had to, I had to cheat a little bit because you can see it actually does stop. That's the Usain Bolt hits a brick wall version, but you get the idea, right? It's better than a straight line, right? So I'm going to get rid of that straight line here. Now, what we're thinking about here is trying to get this, this steepest part in here, okay? But there's a problem in that when we draw our little triangle, right, you're still measuring um, a section, and that section might not, like, he's getting faster during that section. So if you think about this, right, I'm going to put a point in here. Depending on where it is that you measure here, can you guys see that moving around? Yeah. You can see it, right? Depending on where we measure, what you're calculating, if you think about an actual distance, which is a vertical thing, and an actual time, which is a horizontal thing, you're always going to get something like this. I'm just going to hit play on that, right? So you can see this is like the hypotenuse of your right angle triangle. Does that make sense? This is the hypotenuse moving around. Obviously down here, as you can see, it's getting flatter. That represents Usain Bolt running slower, right? Is that okay? And as you get to this middle section here, this is when he starts getting faster and faster and faster. I'm just going to hit pause about there. Okay. Now, just have a look at this spot here. This spot is interesting to me because it looks at, on this particular graph that the straight line here, it's always a straight line. Let me just put it back. You can see no matter where I put it on the graph, that black thing is straight. This is the spot I want here. At this spot, the black line is small enough, even though it's straight, that it looks almost indistinguishable from the original. Does that make sense? Right? It's um, on this graph, if I went somewhere else, you're like, oh, um, somewhere like, oh, hold on, what have I done? There we go. Somewhere like there. These are clearly two different things, right? But then again, if I looked at this spot, if I zoomed in a little closer, I know that looks more exaggerated, but watch this, right? I can say, let's make that black line smaller. If I make it small enough, do you see that even though it looks very obviously different before, if I pick something small enough, now again, it's sort of indistinguishable, isn't it? If you could make a small enough triangle, you following with me? 